Okay, am I audible to you? Can you hear me? Just check it out whether you can hear me. Am I audible or not? Please check it out. Okay, so our this session is related to the question of physics, which were asked in Airport Authority of India exam, which was held in July two zero two two. That means twenty seventh July ko. There are uh, physics exam in two shift, shift one, shift two, and I'm taking the questions from shift one. Not all thirty questions, but some questions I'm taking, and uh, you should do these questions uh, by seeing that what can be the uh, probable, uh, you know, concepts from where he can ask you the question. Uh, in Airport Authority of India exam, ATC exam, entire physics of eleventh and twelfth is not equally important. there are certain topics from where he ask you more questions and those topics you should do uh, first and then you should do those topics which are not very important so uh, how do we know which are important topics or not when you solve previous years questions then uh, you get that idea so mentors of your pdia will solve all shift 1 shift 2 questions with you attend live maybe you can get that idea and uh, this document also will be provided to you what we discuss here so today i have taken some questions from shift 1 i'll be covering that in couple of classes like uh, maybe 3 to 4 classes i will take and i'll be discussing with you the question and the concept and the related things from where he can ask you the question so i'll be solving a question and then tell you okay revise this part also it is also important so let's start it uh, this uh, uh, is going to be one hour session with me live session i'll take a lecture class for one hour and uh, note down the important things okay so uh, let's go for the questions directly this question is uh, related to uh, the you know image formed by concave mirror so we found that in uh, both the sessions there were some kind of similarities session 1 se session 2 paper there were similarity and that is the same thing is expected for exam which may be uh, held in feb or march 2023 so he gave you a concave mirror and focal length he gave you and he kept some body which is uh, at some distance uh, in front of this concave mirror and is asking you that what kind of image is formed and he is taking new cartesian sign convention that means image formed of convex and concave mirror is a topic is important topic convex and concave mirror and image formed through that i think i have one video also which is kept on uh, your pdia channel only you can see that particular video what kind of images are formed now uh you see carefully here he is giving the choices you need not to even solve the question you need not to even put the things in formula because uh, in airport authority of india exam time will be less almost 1 minute one question so do the smart work do not like uh, start solving the question it is not required we know that if it is a convex mirror or it is a concave mirror in case of concave mirror if suppose this is the focal point this is the center of curvature and the body is kept here you know uh, that kind of you know uh, image which can be formed if the object is kept away from uh, c where the image will be formed if the object is kept at c where the image will be formed if the body is kept between c and f where will the image formed these things are known to you now focal length is 16 cm and body is kept at 24 cm so suppose this is 16 cm then c is 32 cm and the body is kept at 24 cm that means the body is kept between f and c if the body is kept between f and c what we know is like any parallel ray will go through focal point and anything which goes through focal point will move parallel so that means the image will be formed that is inverted image and image will be formed beyond c so i will show you a uh, next slide so from concave and convex mirror you should know that in concave mirror there are six cases of the image formed in concave mirror there are six cases which you get uh, of different images that is important and convex mein aapko ek hi case banta hai convex mein aapko uh, image is always erect and virtual but in this case it is a real image and inverted image inverted hai to negative aayega and also image will be uh, larger in size or smaller in size answer is if the body is between c and f image is formed beyond c and if image is formed beyond c उसका साइज विल बी लार्जर साइज इज मोर इनवर्टेड है तो नेगेटिव आएगा रियल है नेगेटिव आएगा बड़ा साइज एंड नेगेटिव सो कैन यू टेल मी नाउ इफ द साइज इज टू सेंटीमीटर ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट 
larger size and negative larger size and negative is minus 4 so answer has to be somewhere around minus 4 that's it aapko solve bhi nahi karna you you are not to solve it if you know this concept if you know this idea that in concave mirror whenever i put something i'll make this diagram once again in the concave mirror if i keep something between the focal point if i keep something between focal point and center of curvature something like this this is my object take the parallel ray it will go through focal point pass any ray through focal point and it will pass through it will go parallel so ob image will be formed beyond c you keep something between c and f image is formed beyond c that means it will be if this is positive h this is minus h if the size is you know if size is h uh, this size is h dash h dash is more than h if this size is 2 cm it is has to be negative and more than 2 cm negative and more than 2 cm only one choice was there so you were not supposed to solve it so aapko is tarike se exam ke andar you need to use these kind of tricks now this is what the information is like uh, if there is a object which uh, is kept here where you will find the image of it take a ray parallel to the principal axis it will pass through focal point take a ray through focal point it will go parallel so that will help you to find out the image mirror formula hai iske andar no doubt the mirror formula is 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v that is a mirror formula where u v f these are the distances and we follow the sign convention so what is new cartesian sign convention this is new cartesian sign convention what is the meaning of that all the distances are to be measured from the pole all the distances must be measured from the pole any distance measured in the direction of ray is taken positive any distance measured in the direction opposite to ray abhi ray ka direction kya hai this is the direction of ray so all the distances which are measured in the direction opposite to ray usko negative lena hai so pole se tum focal length measure karoge negative aayega object ka distance u measure karoge negative aayega image ka distance loge negative aayega so iska concave mirror mein focal length is basically negative convex mein that is positive so mirror ka formula that is something which is important for us right so anything which is upward is positive anything which is downward is negative ye sign convention isko yaad karna hai so this is the sign convention which you need to know and these are the six cases which i was telling you these are the six cases in uh, concave mirror dekho pehla case hai when the body is kept at infinity the image is formed at focal point body is kept beyond c the image is formed between c and f body is kept at c point image is formed at c point body is kept between c and f the image is formed beyond c body is kept at f image is formed at infinity body is kept between f and p the image is formed which is erect in the you know, virtual mode so only case in which concave mirror mein aapka virtual and erect virtual and erect आपके पास जो इमेज बनता है वो ओनली इस केस में बनता है दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी स्पेशल केस एंड दिस इज यूज टू सी टू मेक द मिरर जो मिरर होता है ना शेविंग मिरर जहां पे आप शेविंग करते हो शेविंग मिरर करते हो उसमें आपका लार्जर फेस नजर आता है एंड वो इसके ऊपर बना होता है तुम्हारा इसमें वर्चुअल एंड इरेक्ट बनती है इमेज बड़े साइज की है एंड आपकी पॉजिटिव है सो सपोज दिस इज टू सेंटीमीटर दिस इज फोर सेंटीमीटर एंड यहां पर आ जाओ दिस इज द केस विच वॉज गिवन टू अस इन दिस केस If the body is kept between C and F, the image will be formed beyond C. This is two centimeter. This is minus four centimeter. अबे minus four कैसे आया? This is to be kept in the formula. ये formula से आएगा. लेकिन आपको formula में रखने की requirement नहीं थी. That was that is what I was telling you. Solve करना मत start कर दो. Don't start solving one by F is equal to one by U plus one by V. Not required. Only thing needed is concave mirror में छः cases बनते हैं. पांच cases में आपका real बनता है. एंड आपका ये रिवर्स बनता है नेगेटिव आएगा और एक में आपका वर्चुअल बनेगा इरेक्ट बनेगा सो so, आपका रियल इनवर्टर एंड वन केस इज वर्चुअल इरेक्ट दिस इज द केस राइट सो दिस इज व्हाट दिस दिस वाज योर बेसिकली कनकेव मिरर का जो केस है और यही केसेस का जस्ट रिवाइज दीज थिंग्स व्हाट आर दीज सिक्स केसेज बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है यहां से एग्जाम में क्वेश्चन आता है कनकेव मिरर के सिक्स केस कन्वेक्स मिरर का एक ही केस बनता है कन्वेक्स मिरर इज ओनली सिंगल केस बट कनके मिरर में वट यू आर गेटिंग 
you are getting six cases in k in concave mirror <coughs> in convex you are getting only one case so when you keep at infinity the object will be formed at focal point when you keep at point beyond c of the image will be formed between c and f when you keep at c same size of image as of the object inverted equal to object so nature kaisi hai position kahan pe hai size kya hai everything you will be knowing and what was the case given to us the case which was given to us was fourth case so this was the fourth case in the question which he gave you and this case is very very important also when do you get virtual in convex you always get the virtual but in concave there is only single case when the body is kept between the focal point and pole right that time you get the virtual thing this is the case so concave ko revise karke chale jao as i told you previous years ke questions karke hame ye pata lagega we will get to know that which are the important points from where we are to revise it and we saw that concave and convex mirror and the formula related to that where the image is formed is important topic okay let's go to next question now this is silicon is doped with now <coughs> which of the following elements to get n type semiconductor now semiconductor n type and p type semiconductor is important topic n type and p type semiconductor is important topic n type semiconductor has more electrons you know that is a basically element which is conductive elements electrons and in p type semiconductor hole majority is there electron kam hote hain holes usme zyada hote hain to phosphorus agar silicon ke sath if i add phosphorus with silicon i get n type semiconductor if i add boron or something like that i get p type semiconductor so let me give you an idea about this uh, through this diagram abhi dekho isme सिलिकॉन के पास चार इलेक्ट्रॉन है पेयरिंग के लिए सिलिकॉन हैज फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टू पेयर विद अदर एलिमेंट नो इफ यू पुट फॉस्फोरस हेयर इफ यू मेक दिस एज आर डोपिंग एलिमेंट डोपिंग एलिमेंट मीन्स फॉरन एलिमेंट हमने इसमें ऐड कर दिया तो फॉस्फोरस के वेलेंस शेल में देर आर फाइव इलेक्ट्रॉन फॉस्फोरस हैज फाइव इलेक्ट्रॉन इन द वेलेंस शेल सिलिकॉन हैज फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन इन द वेलेंस शेल सो फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑफ सिलिकॉन विल पेयर विद फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑफ फॉस्फोरस but one extra electron of phosphorus will be available that makes it n type semiconductor that makes it n type semiconductor but remember this other than phosphorus he might he may also give you arsenic and antimony also so phosphorus arsenic antimony as impurity so this can be given as impurity you know there is a you know group 4 group 5 ऑफ वेलेंस शेल के बेस पे होता है पीरियोडिक टेबल अगर आपको याद हो इन द स्कूल इन द केमिस्ट्री वी यूज टू स्टडी पीरियोडिक चार्ट पीरियोडिक टेबल इन दैट पीरियोडिक टेबल देर यूज टू बी कॉलम्स सो सिलिकॉन इज द मेंबर ऑफ बेसिकली ग्रुप फोर विच हैज फोर वेलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन फॉस्फोरस इज अ एलिमेंट ऑफ ग्रुप फाइव अलॉन्ग विद आर्सेनिक एंटी मनी सो अगर आप देखोगे तो उसमें फाइव एलिमेंट्स आएगा वन एक्स्ट्रा इलेक्ट्रॉन इज देयर and that makes it n type semiconductor now phosphorus atom uh, donates its fifth valence electron and this is a free charge carrier this is a free charge carrier and this makes it n type semiconductor so understood this particular thing is there now what about p type p type ke andar basically doping is that by boron or indium so these are group 4 valence electron are there and boron is in group 3 so periodic table agar aap dekhoge internet pe dekho periodic table there is a group 3 there is a group 4 there is a group 5 p type semiconductor is when group 3 ka koi doping kiya jaye doping is done with the element in group 3 with group 4 then p type if doping is done with element of group 5 with element of group 4 we get n type because we get extra electron that is the basically n type semiconductor and if extra electron is not there valence electron are only three in group 3 elements we have only three valence electron we get the hole we get holes majority that means one electron less will be obtained that is the meaning of this particular thing 
राइट सो एक्सेप्टर इंप्योरिटी एक्सेप्टर इंप्योरिटी क्रिएट्स होल एक्सेप्टर इंप्योरिटी क्रिएट्स होल वेर एज एक्स्ट्रा इलेक्ट्रॉन क्रिएट एक्स्ट्रा इलेक्ट्रॉन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग सो क्वेश्चन वॉज दिस ओके नो दिस इज अ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन प्लीज गो थ्रू दिस क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो दिस अ पैरल प्लेट कैपेसिटर विद सर्कुलर प्लेट ऑफ रेडियस वन मीटर हैविंग द कैपेसिटेंस वन नैनो फेरेड एट इज इक्वल टू जीरो इट इज कनेक्टेड for charging in series with the resistance and across a battery so there is a battery so rc circuit used for charging the capacitor rc circuit used for charging the capacitor that is important topic charging capacitor rc circuit is used for charging capacitor r is 1 mega ohm and this is a 2 volt battery so maximum voltage will be obtained at t is equal to 0 so at t is equal to 0 the voltage which is there that is maximum voltage we also call it v not as 2 volt aapko ye pata karna hai ki electric field at a point half way between center and periphery of the plate after t tends to minus 3 second kitna hoga so read this question that means now this is important topic from where question can be asked this is important topic from where question can be asked so there is a parallel plate capacitor a circular plate of radius 1 meter so can you tell me what is the area of this parallel plate capacitor pi r square r is 1 meter so pi meter square is the area pi meter square is the area what is r given r is given as 10 to power 6 ohm 10 to power 6 ohm mega ohm means 10 raised to power 6 ohm and what is the capacitance given capacitance is 1 nano farad what is nano 10 to power 9 farad so can you tell me what is rc rc is 10 to power 6 into 10 to power minus 9 10 raised to power minus 3 and you see he is also giving you time as 10 raised to power minus 3 second hame 10 to power minus 3 ke upar calculate karna hai so there is a reason why he is giving you all this there is a reason for that he is giving you all this Okay, so now R is 10 to the power 6, F is 10 to the power minus 9, RC is 10 to the power minus 3. T and RC are the two things which you are going to come in the formula of charging the capacitor. I am going to give you that formula, but as on now, note down the things. R is given, C is given, and uh, voltage, initial voltage at T is equal to zero is also given. And what we have to find out is electric field. The same type of question can be asked to find out magnetic field. so charging of the capacitor and electric field that question can be given let me give you some formulas here first so uh, you know charging of the capacitor the formula here is if i want to charge the capacitor how the voltage changes so voltage at particular time t is equal to t0 pe voltage into 1 minus e raised to power minus t by rc that is the formula so you know this is the value this is the formula and i told you that at t is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 what is the value of rc that is also 10 to the power minus 3 so we want to find out the charge and electric field we want to find out electric field at t t at t means 10 to the power minus 3 we want to find out electric field at 10 to the power minus 3 okay how to find out electric field now we know one formula e is equal to q over a into epsilon not permittivity so e, e is equal to q over a epsilon not what is a pi r square and what is r square that is 1 so this is the formula for electric field that formula of you know uh, this capacitor at particular midpoint if you want to find out is a q by a epsilon not this is the formula of electric field now from where this formula has come and everything that i will that i have already discussed with you okay now uh, this value of uh, q we want to find out now what is the value of q q is equal to c into v capacitance into v now what is the value of v for us if i want to find out charge q at particular time t c into v at particular time t and what is v at particular time t that is equal to c into v not into 1 minus e raised to power minus 1 so this is the charge 
at particular time t. Now we want to find out e. e at particular time t is equal to q t. Now if I want to find out e at particular time t, this is the charge at particular time t. What is charge at particular time t is 1 minus this over pi epsilon naught. This is pi epsilon naught. Now e raised to minus 1 value is also known to us. Now c value is given as 10 to minus 9, v naught is given as 2. And what is the value of epsilon naught? You know, epsilon naught, the value we can substitute as this is 10 raised to minus 9 over 36 pi. Many times you use this value. Though epsilon naught permittivity is 8.85 into 10 raised to minus 12, you have solved this value also as 8.85 into 10 to minus 12 lekin usi ka pichla version simplified version is this also so if you put this value 10 to minus 3 10 to minus 3 term is here also 36 pi so that term also will come so this is the answer for this question if you solve this question you get your answer if you solve if you put all these things here you get your answer from this particular thing so <clears throat> this is the question which was given to us right so note it down, QT we have to calculate, VT we have to calculate and this is the formula. So charging of the capacitor ka formula, how the voltage changes with time, what is the time constant, RC, RC was given to us at time we have to calculate uh, electric field at particular time 10 to minus 3. So pahle voltage nikalo, usse charge nikalega, charge se electric field nikalega. These are the formulas. So this particular class is not related to the formulas. This is what topic you have to study and aapke exam mein question kya aya tha. So if you solve it, if you put these values, uh, then your answer will be 45.4 uh, volt per meter will be the answer for this question. So this question tumhara aaya tha, charging of the capacitor se, jis mein aapko ye formula pata hone chahiye, voltage kaise change hota hai, and how do we calculate the electric field at some particular point. I hope this question is clear to you. Let's go for next question. Haan, ye bhi bahut important topic hai, jo student normally avoid kar lete hai. Hydrogen spectrum mein kon kon sa series aata hai. So spectrum, hydrogen spectrum is also important for Airport Authority of India exam. So hydrogen spectrum mein se question aya hai. That question was there in 2022 also and the question was there in 2021 also. So hydrogen spectrum is important topic and question has come. So this is uh, July 27 paper, uh, shift number 1, physics question and uh, ratio of longest wavelength to shortest wavelength in Paschen series of hydrogen spectrum. That was the question. Now is the Paschen series of hydrogen spectrum is the only series or there are other series also. So let me tell you what are the other series here. Okay. So, wavelength हमें निकालनी है hydrogen spectrum में. So, see this particular diagram carefully and uh, spectral series. You know, spectral series is nothing but a uh, group of wavelengths है and uh, electromagnetic radiations when these are released by energized atom. Uh, we, key, we know that uh, any particular atom has electron in its valence shell and there are excitation or energy bands or energy states and there is a jump between different energy states and whenever electron jumps from one state to another so electromagnetic radiation is emitted listen carefully kisi bhi atom ke valence shell mein electrons hain and then when the electrons jump from one shell to another shell then energy is released or energy is acquired and when energy is released then uh, that energy electromagnetic radiation uh, that which is released has a wavelength now, he is talking about hydrogen ka apna spectrum kaisa banta hai. So, first valence shell, second, third, fourth say, when you get, you know, uh, jump from different valence shell, to kitne wavelength ka radiation emit hota hai. What is the wavelength of the radiation which is emitted when you jump from one valence shell to another? That is the, basically, uh, this particular entire topic all about. So, spectral line banti hai. So there are different series which uh, you know are uh, related to this particular hydrogen spectrum and this question which was asked was related to passion series. So passion series may you can see you have to go from third uh, uh, you know shell to fourth, fifth, sixth and infinite. So jump is from third. 
if you take layman layman series this is from one first balmer series second passion series third layman balmer passion you see first to second third fourth infinite second and then third something like this to ye aapki hydrogen spectrum ki alag alag series hain now we came to know that for atc exam this is important topic we are to go through this particular topic this is important topic for uh, you know this particular exam so this is related to this now let's come to the our topic passion series so in passion series this is the formula you need to revise passion series mein your jump is from third n1 third to n2 n2 can be 4 5 6 7 anything now the formula here is n1 square minus n2 square 1 by lambda is equal to see carefully 1 by lambda is equal to r times 1 by n1 square minus n2 square now n1 is 3 n1 is 3 n2 minimum jo ho sakta hai 4 hota hai n2 ka maximum value infinity ho sakti hai now suppose i put n2 as infinity if put if i put n2 as infinity i get minimum wavelength so suppose i want to get lambda as minimum n2 is taken as infinity relation se aapko pata lag jayega right so n2 agar main infinity laga du to lambda will be minimum if i put n2 as a 4 i get lambda as maximum so he is asked you the relation ratio between maximum to minimum lambda maximum to lambda minimum so lambda maximum is coming out to be 144 over 7r as per our formula and lambda minimum is coming out to be 9 by r so certain things gets cancel out so this is 9 16 by 7 this answer comes out to be 16 by 7 so a series hame uh, we have to revise this series we have to remember this series that is something which we have to do so passion series of hydrogen spectrum that is what we are doing in this so there are some important topics as i told you un important topics ko revise karna hai and those important topics can be asked in your airport authority of india atc exam keep noting down the topics which are important and from where the question can be asked So this one is also important topic. I'm sure you will do this. ये मैं आपको notes provide कर दूँगा website पे. You can go on our website, get these notes, and you can solve this particular question. And you can also know कहाँ से question बन सकता है, from where he can ask you more questions, right? So that was related to this series. So again, this is the topic. Topic is related to the you know spectral series uh, formed of hydrogen again it is more based upon formulas so if you know the formula of this okay this is a formula one formula you have to revise on the basis of that aapka ye exam nikal jaye so question nikal jayega so atc airport authority of india exam is all about remembering the formulas but not every formula some important formulas we have started the series of ncert also jo aapke formulas hain ncert mein which you have to revise and atc exam difficult nahi hai lekin this is a time exam he will give you very less time uh, for even exam and during exam also one question one minute and also very less time two months dega wo tumhe abhi se do months start ho gaye hain the students who will start after 15 20 days they lose 15 20 days that is the basically mantra so start early if you want to click if you want to convert this exam okay now this uh, again uh, this another uh, you know table i want to give you this uh, table is a passion series uh, when electron transition takes place from states 4 5 6 7 to state 1 energy state as i told you whenever electron will jump from high energy state to low energy state then electromagnetic radiation will be emitted and the wavelength of that can also be seen what is the wavelength of that particular series so this is the another you know value he has calculated that in nanometer wavelength in nanometer of these kind of spectrum so that is the value which is there which is given to us okay so that was the table and uh, next we go for this question now read this question is very simple question very very simple question but highly expected question plane electromagnetic wave travel in the vacuum along z axis this is electromagnetic wave which is traveling along uh, z direction in the vacuum and he is asking you that electric and magnetic field vector how electric and magnetic field vectors are going to 
behave that is a question so there is a plain electromagnetic wave you know that uh, electromagnetic wave is made up of electric field and magnetic field electric field is oscillating magnetic field is oscillating and electromagnetic wave is proceeding forward so basically kya hota hai this is electric field this is a magnetic field and aise ye vibrate karti hai and this keeps on coming towards your side so suppose this is electric field perpendicular to that is magnetic field and i am electric electromagnetic wave and i am coming towards you so e electric field is oscillating along y direction magnetic field is oscillating along x direction and electromagnetic wave is moving towards z direction that is what is the uh, basically uh, this particular concept so uh, one uh, field is vibrating perpendicular to another field so you can see this diagram carefully you can find out this in the diagram that electric field if it is oscillating in a particular direction magnetic field is oscillating in perpendicular direction to electric field then electromagnetic wave is propagating perpendicular to both electric field and magnetic field that is the concept here <coughs> right so that is the concept in electromagnetic waves e field and magnetic field and electric field and electromagnetic wave propagation okay let's go for next question now consider two coaxial cylinders of length l with vacuum inside these cylinders now radii of inner solenoid and outer solenoids are also given number of turns per unit length are also given n1 n2 for these solenoids and you have to find out what is the mutual inductance so let me tell you another important topic in physics from there he is going to ask you question is mutual inductance and self inductance so self inductance mutual inductance is also important topic from where he might ask you the question so <clears throat> mutual inductance and self inductance read this question and this question is also uh, important a good concept from where he will ask you question so there are two coaxial cylinders of the same length and there is a vacuum inside radii of the solenoids is also given number of turns per unit length is also given n1 n2 is given and you have to find out what will be the mutual inductance so let me give you first some kind of theory here so mutual inductance hota kya hai is basically induced emf in the secondary coil when current in the primary coil changes by unity that is the definition of it so if i give you two coaxial solenoids each of length l as shown in the diagram so you can see that there are two solenoids one inside another they are coaxial solenoids aur dono ka length barabar hai length is equal one is having radius r1 another is having radius r2 and number of total turns of the solenoids is capital n1 capital n2 number of turns per unit length is n1 n2 so this is the situation given jo question mein usne bataya hai he says that there are two coaxial cylinder of length this vacuum inside and radii are given and turns are given small n1 n2 are given but n1 is number of turns per unit length so that is something which is given to us now like so length can be taken as unity uh, it can be taken as one if l is there that can also be so solution can be done by that also so now uh, mutual inductance kya hai when current i2 is set up through solenoid 2 it is uh, set up magnetic flux through s1 so magnetic flux uh, phi 2 in s you know uh, basically one due to current change in s2 will be the magnetic flux and magnetic flux due to current i2 in s2 is given as this so ye sare formula hain ye aapka magnetic flux ka jo formula hai this is the formula of the solenoid when the current changes or the current flow in particular solenoid i2 when the current flows through s2 and that is i2 then magnetic field due to this current in s2 is mu n into i so mu n into i is the magnetic field which is produced by solenoid through which you are making the current i flow so mu n i n is the number of coils per unit length 
I is a current flow through that particular solenoid and mu naught is, as you know, permeability. So mu naught and I is the magnetic flux. And what is the flux linked with second solenoid is B2 into A1. Uska area of first solenoid. That also, you know, magnetic flux associated with solenoid 1. Total flux linked with N1 terms is then you have to multiply by N1. And this is the formula which you are getting. Mu, N2, I2, A1, N1. <coughs> so this is the formula we are getting. And this is mutual uh, inductance of solenoid 1 with respect to solenoid 2, that is M12. When you compare the two things, this is what you are going to get. M12 or M21. And A is nothing but pi R1 square or pi R2 square, that is pi R1 square because this area is taking of the first solenoid. So if you see this formula is obtained mu n1 n2, uh, then the current and this i, this particular area, which area is pi r square, right? So this is how, uh, this, sorry, i, this is the length L. This is the length of the uh, solenoid. This is the length of the solenoid. So this formula hai as such, now this is a whole derivation, hai, which I am not, as of now, touching the derivation here. We have covered it differently. So this formula based direct question tha aapka and from there you can directly get this particular formula. This is a formula based question and as a question aapka similar kind of question he can frame like this. So this is mu n1 n2 pi r1 square and self inductance ka formula is this. So mutual inductance formula, self inductance formula. And sometimes he asks you, this, uh, this is not the question which was asked in airport authority, but this question can also be asked. Airport authority may have mutual inductance ka formula, tha, self inductance nahi pucha tha, but question can be asked of self inductance also. So mutual inductance formula was asked, self inductance was not asked, but you revise these formulas also. So mutual inductance and self inductance of the solenoids, coaxial solenoids, that is important concept for ATC, Airport Authority of India exam. <clears throat> right? So, revise these formulas and uh, uh, we, are, uh, we are also providing you that uh, formulas of NCERT, which are the formulas hai, important formulas for ATC. Un documents ko download those documents. They are the important formulas for this particular exam. Right? <clears throat> so, mu naught N1 N2 pi R1 square. That was the question and this is the answer for that mu naught pi n1 n2 r square into length. Okay. r1 is inner, r2 is outer radius. Let's go for next question. Two coils A and B are arranged parallel to each other when the current in coil B when the current in coil B increases at rate of 20 ampere per second and initial current in coil A is 0, the induced EMF in coil A is 100 volt. What will the mutual inductance of two coils? So A and B, there are two coils which are given parallel to each other. So, okay, so this is the coil A, this is the coil B. These are the two coils which are parallel to each other. Now, this is a current DI over DT coil B. Let's say this is coil B, this is coil A. DI over DT, current change in coil is given as 20 ampere per second. That is the current change in coil B is given. Right? Induced EMF in coil A is 100 volt. Induced EMF in coil a is 100 volt. Ab induced EMF ka jo humar pas formula hai, ye do formulae humar pas hoote hai. These are the two formulas we have. Induced EMF in any coil is self inductance into rate of change of current. Or it can be mutual inductance into rate of change of the current. These are the two formulas. I told you that ATC, Airport Authority of India exam, is all about formulas. So we have got two coils A and B. There is a change in current in coil B because of which induced EMF is produced in coil A. Now, if the current change is in coil A and induced EMF is also generated in A, then the formula is this. 
and we will calculate the self inductance but suppose the current change is in coil b the change in current is in coil b and the induced emf is in coil a this is the case of mutual inductance so hum formula ye use karenge now di by dt is given and induced emf is also given as 100 volt now this particular thing is given as 100 volt and this di over dt is given as 20 ampere per second aur m ka value pucha hai kitna hoga so 100 by 20 is 5 henry that is a value of mutual inductance so as i told you aap previous questions karoge atc ke jo question aaye hain july mein if you solve all the questions which were asked in july you will get an idea ki question kahan se aata hai from where he is going to ask you questions you will get an idea about that so this was mutual inductance and self inductance this question was from mutual inductance and self inductance <coughs> so atc airport authority of india exam is neither easy nor difficult only thing is you need to have a strategy and you need to very meticulously prepare the topics from where the topics questions are being asked you need to prepare that done okay so let's go for next question now this is the next question okay number of turns in primary and secondary coils of transformer are 824000 respectively if the current in secondary is 6 ampere what will be the current in primary if the current in secondary is 6 ampere what will be the current in the primary that is a question number of turns in primary and secondary coils are given so number of turns in primary and secondary coils of the transformer are given as 824000 okay so that means there will be some relation between the number of turns of the primary and secondary coil and the current in primary and secondary okay so let me give you the theory of this now i want you to read this first what is the theory what is transformer transformer is a device which is used to either reduce the voltage or increase the input of voltage circuit the input circuit is primary circuit output circuit is secondary so there is a primary there is a secondary input here output here iron core that is all about the transformer and each primary and secondary have some number of turns some coils are there coil of the primary circuit is called primary coil and secondary circuit is called secondary circuit coil so there is a primary coil there is a secondary coil that is a transformer aur iska purpose kya hota hai either to lower the voltage of input circuit increase the input of voltage circuit so hame jo primary mein voltage hai usko reduce karke aage bhejna hai maybe that is the purpose so that can be done through number of coils and this is the concept jo aapko yaad karna hai par atc ke liye kya yaad karna hai atc ke liye sir mere ko ye yaad karna that's it transformer mein voltage ki ratio current ki ratio is this hame puri physics revise nahi karni we need to know bit basic concept and formulas because exam mein question is formula based abhi tak jitne bhi aapne question dekhe they all are formula based like if you remember the formula to aapka question nikal jayega that is the concept so now we know so ratio of secondary to primary voltage secondary to primary voltage and also secondary to primary current depends upon number of turns so transformer mein primary circuit is primary coil is there secondary coil is there number of turns are in primary also secondary also so ratio of the voltage or ratio of the current in primary secondary depends upon the number of turns in the coils secondary and primary voltage are given vs and vp number of turns in secondary and primary are this so voltage ki ratio and the number of turns ratio can be calculated like this remember these two formulas and on your pdf we are going to provide you these formulas physics mein ye formulas hain aur is tarike se aapko revise karna hai so we in the theory uh, class you can understand little bit understanding of these things and how we have to solve it ab hamare paas ye ratio aa gaya voltage aur current ka ratio aa gaya so hamare paas kya de rakha hai if you see this question 
so number of turns in primary and secondary coils are 1000 and 3000 if primary of the coil is connected to 80 volt ac what is the potential difference so if potential nikalna hai to aise question nikal jayega this is additional question jo question de rakha hai main usko bhi solve karta hu but this is the additional question for you maybe this is asked this time so additional question for you to primary and secondary agar de rakha hai so how to find out the voltage difference so this question may be asked this particular time <coughs> note this question so we are given the ratio of primary and secondary primary and secondary ka ratio de rakha and voltage in primary is given and voltage in secondary is to be found so you see transformer what does is changes the voltage primary to secondary primary mein voltage was 80 secondary mein voltage is coming 240 step up transformer step down transformer depending upon the number of coils in primary and secondary so voltage can be stepped up it can be stepped down step up transformer step down transformer both can be done right ab piche chalte hain hame piche kya de rakha hai i s n s i p n p i s n s let me give this now i s n s i p n p that means current in secondary number of turns in secondary what are the number of turns in secondary 24000 what are the numbers of turns in primary 800 if the current in secondary is 6 ampere what will be ip current in primary 6 into 24000 over 800 180 ampere very simple question so that is the reason why 100 plus out of 120 is coming airport authority may obviously yaar, it's a very good job one lakh more than one lakh salary you are getting atc ka job acha job hai so why the competition is there because questions straight aate hain question difficult nahi aate solve nahi karna hai straight questions are coming ab jis bacche ko ye formula pata hoga wo question nikal jayega so entire preparation boils down to how effectively you have made your notes notes hain copy mein likhe hue and you revise and go in the examination hall that is the mantra and you are doing lot of testing aap test series laga rahe hain your pdn to bahut se test tumhe diye hue hain test series laga rahe hain and questions kar rahe hain and jo your pda ka aapka wo hai micro module i mean jisme e book hai e book pada hua usme just revise the formula in that all the formulas are there just revise that and i think you can hit the answer from there done so ye question and next question is related to that okay let's go for next question now this is the next question for you suppose uniform electric field is given to you as e is equal to 4 into 10 raised to power 4 j newton per coulomb j kya hota hai ijk unit vectors j is the unit vector telling you direction of plus y so this is the along y axis so electric field is given along y axis electric field is given along y axis you have to find out the electric flux through a square of 20 centimeter on side whose plane is parallel to x z plane so you should know what is x z plane you should know what is y axis so he is given you electric field he is given you area you have to find out the electric flux electric flux is to be calculated done now let me tell you what is given actually x y z let me make x y z let's say this is x let's say this is z and this is y axis j electric field is along this axis this is electric field given and the area is given like this this is the area this x z plane area is x z plane that means electric field and if area is in x z plane let me ask you a question area is a vector 
area is a vector what is the direction of area direction of area vector is perpendicular to the plane of that area listen carefully direction of the area vector is perpendicular to the plane of that area what is the plane of area xz plane can you tell me the direction perpendicular to xz plane yes sir this is the area vector direction what is electric flux electric flux is equal to e dot a e dot a electric field dot product of electric field and area vector what is e dot a e a cos theta what is theta theta is the angle between electric field and area vector electric field is along y axis area vector is also along y axis so what is theta 0 degree what is theta 0 degree cos 0 is 1 so e into a what is e given 4 into 10 raised to power 4 newton per coulomb electric field ka unit is newton per coulomb Achha, area kitna de rakha? so 20 centimeter into 20 centimeter but in the meter it is 10 to minus 4 so 400 into 10 to minus 4 what is the area of square with the side 20 centimeter is 400 into 10 to minus 4 so this gets cancelled out 400 into 4 is a 1600 newton meter square per coulomb no this session private nahi hoga we are not making it private it will be available to you session bhi private nahi hoga aur ye jo mera content hai document hai ye bhi main aapko de dunga but i am covering this in two classes abhi ek class mein kuch question karwa raha hu uh, I'm doing the questions of set one. So this one lecture, another lecture may I'll be completing set one of physics and then similarly set two. So July 27 exam of ATC physics, all the questions, concepts and more questions related to this I'm giving you on website. They, they will be, uh, yeah, so they will be available on your website, right? This is the formula of electric flux. Electric field, area vector, and angle between that. E A cos theta. Electric field is this. Right? E A cos theta. Let's go for next question. Those who cannot read the font. Those who cannot read the font, let me give you, let me read out this font to you. A long straight conductor carries current of 5 ampere. Long straight conductor carries a current of 5 ampere. Magnitude of magnetic field at point 20 centimeter from conductor is. The magnitude of magnetic field at a point 20 centimeter. At a point 20 centimeter from the conductor is. So, what will the value of magnetic field? This is a very important topic. Hai. So, there is a current carrying conductor. There is an infinitely long current carrying conductor. It has current I, which is 5 ampere. You have to find out what will the magnetic field at a distance P, which is 20 centimeter. Both important formula. Revise the formulas. Formula based question hai ATC mein. Formula based questions aata hai ATC Airport Authority of India exam mein. These are formula based questions. Just revise those questions. So question ye hai ki what will be the magnitude of magnetic field. So kya formula aega iska? What is the formula for this? <coughs> Mu naught I over 2 pi R. Magnetic field produced by long Current carrying conductor. This is question. Hai. This is another question. So mu naught i over 2 pi r. Mu naught i over 2 pi r. Mu naught i over 2 pi r. Aise, r distance pe hai. What is the magnetic field? I there is 5 ampere. R is 0 0.2. And you already know the value of 
म्यू नॉट फोर पाई इंटू टेन रेस्ट माइनस सेवन फोर पाई इंटू टेन रेस टू पावर माइनस सेवन म्यू नॉट का वैल्यू आप ये लगा सकते हैं सो इफ यू पुट ऑल दीज वैल्यूज यू शुड गेट फाइव माइक्रो टेस्ला मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज कैलकुलेटेड इन टेस्ला just check it out whether you are getting it or not Four pi into ten to minus seven into five over two pi into zero point two. This is two point one. I don't know ampere two pi r. Just check it out whether you are getting it or not. Yeah, this will come. So. I don't know. This is right. This should come. This value should come. And similar question I am giving. Just check it out whether you are getting answer. Similar question is here. U not I O two pi R. Thirty five is twenty centimeter from wire. सेम क्वेश्चन है राइट सुरेश चौधरी हैज नॉट स्टार्टेड फॉर प्रिपेयरिंग एयरपोर्ट अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया एग्जाम सी आई आई टेल यू लाइक ऑल दीज एग्जाम आर वेरी वेरी कॉम्पिटिटिव ऑल दीज पेपर्स आर वेरी वेरी कॉम्पिटिटिव अनलेस अंटिल यू गिव योर हंड्रेड परसेंट तो कन्वर्ट होना थोड़ा सा ट्रबल सम हो सकता है नो देर आर सो मेनी एग्जाम लाइक तुम्हारा एस एस का मेन्स भी चल रहा है फिर सो मेनी एग्जाम्स गेट का एग्जाम आने वाला है फिर आपका बाकी एग्जाम्स भी हैं तो बिकॉज ऑफ ऑल दिस कम्बिनेशन टाइम मैनेजमेंट बिकम्स ट्रबल लेकिन मेरे को लगता है कि इफ यू कैन स्पेयर थ्री टू फोर आवर्स अ डे नेक्स्ट कपल ऑफ मंथ्स तीन से चार घंटे अगर स्पेयर कर सकते हो देन यू कैन थिंक ऑफ स्कोरिंग गुड इन दिस स्ट्रेटेजी तैयारी करनी पड़ेगी एंड uh, आपको वही चीज करनी पड़ेगी विच इज इंपॉर्टेंट यू हैव टू रिवाइज ओनली दो थिंग्स विच आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट देन यू कैन कन्वर्ट इट don't you do not have time to waste and that is uh, what i'm not this is not like i'm marketing my product but wo bahut hi precisely jo topic padhe hue na so somebody gives you juice of particular subject uh, squeeze karke juice de de ye hai isko karo and then you can go for it that is something which is required so 3 to 4 hours i think if you can spare then you can think of converting and you can think of uh, getting this particular thing so i think for today these are the questions which uh, i had brought for you this is what i wanted to cover with you and uh, i think that is uh, uh, now let me tell you how i am going to cover this entire is i am going to cover this uh, previous years july and previous years physics question which were asked in atc in couple of videos couple of uh, series of videos in which every time i'll come i'll give you this ppt also in this ppt i'm going to add more concept more uh, concept and more uh, theory so that you can revise those theories and you can prepare well for this exam all these ppts and everything pdf will be available on our website you can get from there videos will be available on youtube channel we are not going to make it private this will be available on the youtube channel aap ye samajh le ki question kis tarike se aata hai atc ka question kaisa aata hai usko handle karne ka tarika kya hai aur aapka negative marking nahi hai calculator allowed nahi hai so one minute mein one question how you have to do it how you have to use the tricks so that your question you can uh, think of solving the questions appropriately and uh, you are in position to get the score that is what practice you have to do uh, other than you know, physics uh, mentors of uh, mathematics yesterday ma'am uh, took jaspreet ma'am took for quantum and reasoning and tomorrow shubha madam is going to take english so all the mentors are going to cover their respective domains of atc airport authority of india and we are going to cover previous years questions and related to that we are going to give you what other expected questions can be asked see unless until you extensively prepare for entire syllabus you may not hit 100 plus uh, out of 120 that will be difficult but solving previous years question you will get some idea that okay this is how this is formula based question and one more thing your uh, your pd is also providing you ncert formulas summaries and examples which are important 
इट इज नॉट दैट आई गिव यू फोर बुक्स ऑफ एनसीआर टी ओके इसमें से पढ़ लो दैट इज ओके बट दैट इज नॉट गोइंग टू सर्व द पर्पज आपके पास लिमिटेड टाइम है सो इन द लिमिटेड टाइम यू आर ओनली यू कैन टेक जूस ऑफ पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट एंड रिवाइज इट सो दैट जूस वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड यू फॉर पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट सर्टन थिंग्स विल बी प्रोवाइडेड फ्री लाइक एनसीआर टी आई टोल्ड यू यू कैन डाउनलोड दो थिंग्स फ्रॉम अवर वेबसाइट यू कैन गो देयर डाउनलोड दोस एंड यू कैन स्टार्ट रिवाइजिंग योर सब्जेक्ट सो थैंक्स अ लॉट फॉर बींग विद मी ऑन दिस लाइव सेशन Tomorrow there is a live session of English. Don't miss that. Twenty questions in English are going to be asked. So Shubha Ma'am has prepared the PPT very nicely for you. Uh, revise that. Uh, go through for that live session and revise. Go for the English also. All the very best. Thank you.